back. It even like y'all. We love our children, y'all. No, it's been like y'all. I'll be on our side, we love it. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying the sun. But the hay fever has got me fucked up. But anyways, um, make sure you guys like, you subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your sister, your brothers, and all, all of that. So, guys, do you guys like the hair? Um, if so, I think you should comment down below. I'm going to tag the girl that done it. She's done a brilliant job of my eyes. Could do it however you want. You could do it middle part in. You could do it up. You could do it half up, half down. Yeah, we're well, gonna do all of that right now because it's kind of tight. But she does hair really good. The camera is elite. The plaits are elite. Sorry, and it's lovely and it's not too too tight. Where you've got a headache or you get lumps and bumps, it's just right. So make sure you guys make your appointments and check in with her. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Today's video is going to be a story time about some weird little witch that thought it was acceptable and okay to clone me. The girl cloned me for a man. She cloned me for a man. Let me say it again. She cloned me for a man. Before we get into this video, make sure you click the subscribe button you share this video, yeah, you put the thumbs up and you leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see on the next video, okay? <laughs> like, it's simple, okay? Right. So guys, <sighs> where am I going to even start, right? Cool. I was seeing one guy, right? This was a couple, couple years back. I was seeing one guy. We'll call him... Fredo. I was seeing Fredo, yeah. Fredo moved to me. He used to work in Sainsbury's basically back in the day, you know. This guy come this he walked into Sainsbury's. I was on the checkout. I was on the fucking checkouts. You know like the, the cut where you buy the cigarettes and the alcohol and you will get ID then. You have to show me your ID as well. Not me, because I'm cool, but that one, the one that we don't like going up to. Yeah, that place, yeah. It's called the um kiosk. I was on kiosk, right? If you guys don't know what kiosk is, kiosk is the bit in Sainsbury's or an Asda or a Tesco, you know, the big shops where you buy the, the tobacco, the lottery and the preferably like alcohol. But more time, if it's a big shop, they got alcohol on the floor already. But anyways, that's not the point. I was on kiosk there, and obviously he's because that was like a small Sainsbury's. It was it was like a locum. It wasn't a big Sainsbury's. So he come in. Um, I was thinking, mm, he's all right. Yeah, cool. But obviously I didn't move to men, so continue doing my work because that's what I was there for. So doing my, I was there. Then I got sent on my break, right? So I went on my break. Now there was a bus stop outside the the Sainsbury's. So I took a seat at the bus stop because I was smoking. And I just feel weird standing up smoking sometimes. Sometimes I'm going to sit down, right? So I was sitting down, smoking. And then when I was looking, like, obviously you're on your phone. Then I looked up in it, because obviously I just looked up. I don't know what I looked up for. Then he was, like, on the opposite side of the road, on the corner, yeah? But he was, like, in a car. So I was thinking, like, this guy's watching me. Because I've looked up twice and I've seen you looking at me. So I don't know. So then I started to feel nervous, because he was kind of nice. But not nervous, like, oh, I'm scared. Or... Oh my gosh, I was just nervous, like, oh, fuck, I don't like knowing. You know you know someone's going to talk to you before you even talk, before they even talk to you. Yeah, I don't like that feeling. I knew that was going to happen, yeah. So, cut long story short, he's come up to me now. Lots of manners, smell good, look good, the whole slip bang, right? Um, Obviously, I went to school in the area that he's from. So, you know, it was a little bit, it's kind of tight because... I'm now going to have to research who you are. Do you get it? Because I ain't got time for these niggas. 
these niggas be tripping and these niggas be lying poop. So, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta do my detective work. Thank you. Undercover shit and find out about your blood clot. Right. So, I was gassed because I was thinking, oh, he's nice. Da -da 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 -da. He seems like a cool guy. You know how all girls think? They think, oh, yeah, this is one, this is the one, you know. Relationship goals. <sighs> Definitely not. At the time, I was gassed though, yeah. So, fast forward now. We went on the first date. It was brilliant. No, yeah, we went on the first date. It was really nice. It was really nice. It wasn't anywhere special, but it was nice. I think we went for a drink. Like in a, like a little bar or something. It was really nice. Obviously spoke, got to know each other, whatever, whatever. Obviously from there, you know, obviously we talk on the phone when we're not together. And, you know, yeah, it's nice. Everything's nice. You're not doing too much. You're not doing too little. You're just doing the right amount. Right. That's what I like. So, yeah. That all happened. Then, I think like two or three times after I met him the first time. No, the second time. I met him, like, in his house. I went to his house. So the first time we went out for drinks, the second time, well, it might have even been the third time, went to his house. Nothing like that. And I didn't really even go to people's house, so I felt... So I kind of felt like... I kind of felt like, oh, I don't really want to go. But because he never came across as that guy that's just, you know, looking my front, I thought, let me go, like, he's a cool guy, and I remember, I know, you're not getting it, so you're going to be very disappointed if that, you think that's going to happen, but cool, whatever, yeah, um, went to his house, it was nice, was chilling, listening to music, you know, about seeing, catching up, having some wine, whatever, whatever, I felt comfortable, it was nice, like, he weren't doing too much, like, he was generally asking general questions, like, not none of this, or, like, yeah, you know, what the men them do, like, oh, yeah, you, you look nice, you know, you got a back, you know, your tits are big, you know, like, like, what size are you? Fuck you. The same size as your mum. How about that? Nah, I'm going with this. Anyways, um, he wasn't doing any of that. He was being nice, general question, major star sign, all of that, all of that, all of that. Like, questions that I thought, well, guys don't really ask me this. Like, I'm more to ask people. I would more ask someone what's your star sign. I haven't really, a lot of guys don't really ask me what my star sign is. Um, so yeah. And I thought, okay, cool, you're nice, like, you're cool, like, your house is tidy, you know, you're a clean freak, I can see, I can see that, like, everything's nice and clean, it's nice, fresh, it's nice, you look clean, so, yeah. Then, the second time, no, then, he called me, yeah, like, a couple of days after that, like, we were fine, everything was fine, a couple of days after that, he called me, and he said that he wanted to meet me, yeah, so I was like, okay, but he weren't moving, like, he wasn't being rude, and he wasn't doing a lot. But he was just like, look, I want to meet you. But then he was like, can I can, can I meet him at the park in front of his house? I was like, why the fuck in the park? Like, why can't I ever meet him at your house or we meet in a location? That is weird. So I thought that was dodgy, but I never said nothing. Because I thought, okay, cool, like, don't talk. You don't know what's going on. Cool. Went to the park now to go meet him. <laughs> <sighs> Went to, go, went to the park to go meet him. The park was local. We went, we, I met him. He came, we sat down. He was just staring at me. And I was just like, I don't like people staring at me. It really makes me cringe because I don't know what you're looking at. What are you looking at? My nose, my lips, what? My eyes, my eyelashes, what? My baby hairs, what are you looking at? It really freaks me out. Don't look right into my eyes. It's weird, yeah? Um. So... <laughs> So he's sitting down, he was talking, and then he was like to me, he kept on getting messages from Facebook, a Facebook account, messaging him. It was my Facebook account, but it wasn't my Facebook account. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It was my Facebook account. When he sent me the picture, it was my picture. It was everything on that Facebook was me. It was mine, yeah? But it wasn't my account. It wasn't me. Do you understand? Yeah? Cool. So he kept on getting messages from the Facebook Telling him, like, it's a message from the Facebook to his friend, yeah? So, basically, I can't even, this is baffling. Right, cool. The fake Facebook, yeah, is the Facebook that cloned me. Right, cool. So, he was getting messages. He sent me screenshots of the fake Facebook talking to his friend. Basically saying, look, I'm going to set Freddo up, yeah? And I'm going to rob him. 
and I'm gonna it said some stuff that don't need to be out there and I'm not gonna let you know what it said but it was talking madness and only stuff that he would know but remember I wouldn't even know this because you don't know me so when I'm saying that to him I'm like how do I know this you haven't told me any of this but because you're so paranoid because you know how the man them are they're paranoid he deeply in his soul in his heart in his in his lungs he believed that I was gonna say I'm like, I couldn't believe it but what's so fucked about it is you're not listening the bit that's fucked is the Facebook was my Facebook but it weren't my Facebook do you know how fucked that is that's fucked, fam, like, the fuck? So, oh, so when he showed me the Facebook now, when I looked on it, I couldn't believe <laughs> it was my face, my profile picture, my bio. The only thing that was weird was obviously the friends list. It was a couple of my friends, but people that I don't know. But when I say a couple of my friends, maybe four out of 500 people I know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, same time I put up a status, she will put up a status. Like, it was fucked like to the point where it was hard for me to make him understand that it wasn't me because it's hard when that do I, do, oh i can't explain it but it was a mad thing yeah so that happened now cut long story short he decided to tell me this was going on for weeks like to the point where it started to affect i don't really like you like that no more because i felt like the fuck like i and why should I have to keep proving myself to you? I don't, I'm not doing anything. I don't need to prove myself to you. Who are you? You're not a fucking king. You don't pay my blood clot bills. Like, I'm not your girl. So I don't understand what it is. Do you understand? Yeah. So that happened. Then two twos now. Are you not fucking ready? Are you ready? The guy decided to tell me. He was on the phone. Because obviously. At the end of the, the, the solario. He obviously could see that it wasn't me because he was getting messages and he was getting messages from the facebook when i was living at his house so he could see that it wasn't me but that was weeks down the line that like, wasn't two days in four days in maybe like two months in he that's when i was with him randomly one time me and my best friend was with him at the house chilling having a drink was with his cousin having the vibes and he got a message from the facebook i was sitting with you all this time so you know it weren't me and i just looked at him and i cut my hand you know when, I, when that happened i just felt like to just go nuts because it took this for you to clock that it weren't me when i was telling you that it weren't me anyway so like, it's just fucked but i get it you don't know me you're getting to know me but from time if you've got me in your house there must be some sort of trust kind of because i'm not going to bring someone i don't trust in my house that's just me so i don't know but yeah that happened then this guy decided to tell me yeah after like say it was going on for four months Four bucks and a half, he tried to tell me that he's got a girl best friend. Yeah. And this girl best friend, um, no, bring the beat back. He used to always get phone calls from this girl. I was thinking, who's this girl? Like, because from now, like, we're seeing each other now. Like, it was deep. Like, we never stopped talking after that. So I was thinking to him, like, I was saying to him, like, who's this girl? Like, why is she always calling you? It's very bad. Very, very bad. Um, he was like, oh, she's just my friend. I said, have you done anything with her? Like, he told me that he used to do anything with her, whatever, whatever. Not like that, but obviously, you know, he used to do his thing. He used to, she used to, they used to please each other. That was it, in other words. So I was like, all right, cool. Whatever. Whatever. And he was like, no, but she knows about you. Like, don't get like, obviously, like, me and her are close, isn't it? Like, she knows about you. I told her about you. Da, 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 da. But you know, I thought he was just chatting shit because, you know, they, they chat shit. But on a serious note, she knew about me. And it turns out that she was the bitch, the devil bitch, the wicked bitch, the jealous bitch, yeah, the hated hoe. <laughs> that was pretending to be me. She was pretending to be me, yeah? Because guess what happened now? This is where she got pissed that she got catch out, yeah? That's what happened now. So, of course it was you. Of course it was you because when I found out, it was you. No, before I found... When I found out you was talking, like, you was always popping up on his phone. Of course I had to do my undercover work of who the fuck are you. Because I don't trust no man. So it turns out that basically... Big Crutches. Big Crutches was... The one that... Big Crutches is the person that cloned me. Big Crutches is close friends with the boy's cousin. Yeah? So... When they stop arguing, because this is what girls do as well, they're just bitches as well. So when they stop arguing with their friends, they start to check their friends' business. 
they're just leaky like that. She turned around and told the cousin, like, right, like, she is clearly like, she was the one that was pretending to be Portia. So when I saw the girl, obviously I've told her I've got problems with you, like, like you could have got me locked up. You could have inboxed a message to people that I don't know about and I don't know. Do you understand? Run up your mouth, being rude, chatting shit, and got me into problems. You could have got me in prison, though. Like, you cloned me. It's where? Like, why would you do that? She still said it worked out. Cut a long story short now. I see him on the bus. Yeah? One day I was going to his house and I see him on the bus. She knew she fucked up. She knew she should have gotten that bus. I'm telling you. Because when I saw her, I was on the photo as well. I was mad. I was on the photo. I was thinking, what a coincidence. As soon as that's over, I started smiling because I was thinking, yeah, you're fucked now. You're fucked now. Yeah. You're finished now, bitch. So I said to her, bitch, big pussy. Why did you think it was acceptable to clone me? I should really thump out your tea. Really? And he was on the phone like, just in silence. Because what can you say? Please say something. Because I'm mad now. Please say something. Please. Please. I took the bitch off the bus with me. I said, you're coming off the bus with me. Because you're going to his house together. Yes, we are. Yes. I told him to come downstairs. Meet me downstairs. I'm not even buzzing. Meet me downstairs. He come downstairs. She was there. I said, go on, talk up. Talk up. I just looked at her. I said to him, listen. You don't know me, so please. And I'm not saying that like, I'm a gangster, like, but I will fight. I'm not a dickhead. You're not just going to take me for a dickhead and bag me up and feel like you can be. And if she's not more than me. Are you mad? Anyways, I told her, I'll bust out her teeth. I'll just drop kick it quickly. So what is, where are we going with this? Tell her now. And you tell him now as well. Talk up. She told her it was, it was me. I said, exactly. And I said, that's what you get as well for believing that I would sit down and clothe you. Fuck that. And you, you're just a fucking dirty, walking, stinking, underprivileged bitch. And you're jealous. I don't like jealous people. The girl could have got me locked up or killed. And I know it may sound like I'm over-exaggerating, over but she could have got me locked up or killed. I don't know who she was talking to. The Facebook page looks exactly like mine. The fuck? If you does that, it's weird. You was prepared to make him lose out on talking to someone that he generally liked. Just because you was jealous. Because he was talking to someone. Psycho devil bitch. Ah, so that is the end of my story time today guys. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's too much. It's mad. It's absolute madness. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys like the story time. And I hope you lot see how weird it is. Because I know it's mad. So it must be extra weird for you guys. Okay, make sure you guys stay tuned because I've got some um, stuff in the pipeline for you lot. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a shutdown. Tell you, it's gonna be very good. So make sure you guys subscribe. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Uh, share it to everyone. Everyone, send it, forward it, share it. Scream it to the world. Alright? Alright, see. You leave it late, girl. We love my one trending, girl. <laughs> Independent, girl. We love my one trending, girl.